If you are a maths, physics or computer science student like me, then you probably often have to work with the LaTeX library. And in this video, I want to show you how you can actually implement the equations and symbols from LaTeX in your Notion notes and workspace to take notes for classes, uh, to finish assignments and so on. Let's jump right into the video. All right, so now I've got this new page in my Notion workspace open. And first of all, there are two ways to implement equations in Notion. The first one being the inline block. Um, so if you just type in math, then you'll see this option for a inline equation. And then you have the option to actually add in your equation. For example, I could say uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Oops, like this. And this is a basic inline equation. Now you can also add in a uh, equation block, a math block like this, and then it will actually uh, fill up the whole uh, space of the page. Uh, now, I, if I just go back in here and I just copy paste that into here, you see it just uh, takes up the whole page. Um, so these are the, the two options that you have for implementing math uh, into your Notion workspace. Now there are some shortcuts to do this. So for example, you could start by adding two dollar signs before you enter in the equation. So for example, you could say y equals mx plus c and then add in two dollar signs after that and then you see this turns it into an equation, for example. The other way is by pressing uh, Control Shift E directly, and this just uh, instantly brings up the inline equation. Uh, and then you can again just enter the equation, click on Done, and then the equation uh, appears on your Notion page. The same actually works if you have already typed out the equation uh, in a normal text format. Then you can just highlight the uh, part of the page that you want to turn into an equation, and then again just click uh, Control Shift E and then this total turns the whole thing into an actual equation. Just click on done and you see it has turned into an equation. All right, so now let me show you some of the basic operators and symbols that you can use uh, in Notion. This is all based on the LaTeX library, uh, sorry, it's called the KTEC library. Um, and I'll leave a link to this down in the description. This is pretty much uh, just a collection of all of the things that you can use um, instead of these math equation blocks in Notion. I also prepared a little cheat sheet with some of the uh, equations and operators and so on that are most important to me. So uh, if you want to check that out, uh, it's in Notion, so you can just duplicate it into your workspace. Um, and the link to that will also be down in the description. Now, what I actually already did, as you saw earlier, is creating this type of superscript. So uh, let's just create an inline block again. And now if you want to have this superscript script appear, so for example, a to the power of two or a to the power of five, for example, uh, you just enter in a, and then you just um, type in this little hat symbol. I don't actually know what it's called and then uh, the number that you want to appear in the superscript. Now, if you want a number that has more than one digit, then you actually need to wrap it in um, brackets. So uh, for example, if I add it in 20, you see the uh, zero isn't actually uh, written in superscript. So what you need to do is just wrap it in these curly braces and then uh, you see it just appears like that, and this is how you actually want it to look. Now, the same also works for subscript, so um, this is pretty much just the other way around. Let's add another math block, and let's say A, and then you do this underscore, and then again, you could say, yeah, two, and then this is how it looks in Notion. You could also add fractions, so you can do this using the uh, backslash C frac, and then, in curly braces, you first enter in uh, the part that sits above and then what is uh, below the line. So let's say we want to um, enter in one half. So we do it like this, one, and then we enter in a two and click on done. And you see this is how it would look like in Notion. Next, we'll check out the square root. So uh, we'll just add in another uh, math block yet again. And then we just click uh, do backslash square root. So this is the um, the function for square root. And then we can enter in like five, for example. So this will be the square root of five. Now, if you want to have the cubic root, then we just type in the same exact uh, thing. So slash uh, backslash square root. 
And then in these uh, edgy braces, <laughs> I don't actually know what they're called, um, we'll just write in something like three. And then um, we want the cubic root of, let's say eight. And as you see, this is how it shows up in Notion. Now, if I haven't mentioned that already, you can always click on the equation to edit it again after you've typed in what you wanted it to be. Um, so we could just, you know, uh, change that to a nine, click done again, and uh, yeah, we can edit the uh, formulas and equations this way. That's already it for the absolute basics. You can obviously also type in uh, things like alpha um, or delta, all of these things are available. Um, it would be too much to go through all of them. So uh, I'll, again, I'll leave the link in the description to the cheat sheet. Um, so now I want to actually cover how you can customize your equations in Notion. The first option you have for customizing your formulas is actually to color the formula itself. So uh, before this all, we'll just write in color and then we in curly braces again, oops, uh, in curly braces, let's just write blue. Oh, we'll make it more obvious, let's write red. And now you see the whole formula turns red. Um, you could also say green, for example, and now you see it turns green. Um, you can do this with pretty much any color, and I believe you can also do this with hex color codes. Um, so you can actually brand your formulas if you wanted to, um, to your company's branding or your university's branding. Um, this is all pretty much up to you. Next, we can also change the color of the box that's actually surrounding the formula. So for example, let's just take this one up here um, and we'll click on it. And then in the beginning, we'll add slash color box. And then we'll put in braces, we'll put uh, yellow like this. And now you see it only colors in the first letter, which is why we need to actually put that into curly braces as well. And then you see uh, this whole formula is actually highlighted in yellow. Uh, again, you can use all the colors that you want. You can use hex codes, you can use um, the normal color values like just red or green and so on. It's all up to you. Lastly, you can also change the size of your formulas and equations. Uh, you can do this by using the slash large command in the beginning. There's many different cases of this command. You can use huge, you can use different versions of large, you can use small, uh, so there's all these different sizes. I've included a short overview of some of the most important sizes in the uh, cheat sheet as well in the description. Uh, so yeah, you can check that out there. First, uh, we'll use the large version. So just large with a capital L and then the rest is in lowercase. And then this gives you this size. Now I'll just copy paste this and we'll try out the other sizes. So um, as I said, you can uh, use different capitalization to actually change up the sizes of this large command. So if I uh, put this L, oops, um, if I actually um, add in the formula again, and I change this L to a lowercase L, you see it's actually smaller than the first one. And now if we, uh, in the third version, if we actually put everything into uppercase, then we'll see how it gets even bigger than in the first one. Yeah, so uh, you can use a large to create three different sizes. So yeah, just experiment with that. And if you want your um, formulas to stand out a bit more, uh, you can use the different sizes and also the colorization to, to make them stand out. That's pretty much it for uh, math equations in Notion. I just want to show you some of the resources that will help you out with more specific uh, symbols that you want to use. So this is the website of the KTAC library and this is what Notion actually has implemented into uh, their system. So these are all these symbols that you can actually use within Notion. Um, so there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, you have all these different um, diff different types of operators and um, relations and all of that, all these symbols. Uh, so ch check that out if you want a overview of all of these. Now I also created this cheat sheet. So if you actually want just a little bit of input on you know, some of the basics, um, I have them all summed up here. So yeah, if that's interesting to you, check that out. And lastly, one more resource I want to cover is actually called the Taxify. And that's actually one of the most helpful resources I've come across so far. Pretty much what it does is it allows you to draw the symbol that you're looking for 
and then it will give you like the shortcut for the symbol. It's pretty helpful and it actually works quite well. Uh, so uh, I'll just try using the for all, um, trying to find out the for all symbol, you know, this one here, uh, which is used for logic. And um, yeah, it, it works pretty well. You usually find all of the symbols you're looking for, and then you can just use this little shortcut to actually implement uh, the symbol in Notion. All right, that's it for this video already. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, it really means a lot to me, and uh, it will also really help me out. I will continue to be pushing out lots of great Notion content. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, uh, then uh, again, consider subscribing. Also, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, I'll answer every single one of them. That said, uh, I'll hope I'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye.